Tower 1 shows a clear stem formation, matching perfectly with the stem formation of the nuclear test Nancy. As this is an underground nuclear explosion, where did the electromagnetic impulse EMP go to? The building's steel cage structure forms a Faraday cage shielding its impulse, which affected only a few cars nearby. But where did the initial radioactivity go to? The first radioactive impulse was shielded by the steel structure and the black iron vapor. Alpha and beta particles and gamma radiation are stopped quickly in this iron vapor. Nevertheless, as of 2014, about 70,000 people who were near the towers have developed cancer. As for the neutron radiation, it evaporated the building's steel core, producing micro droplets of condensed iron vapor. Most of the resulting iron isotopes are stable. This is a process of the atom's nucleus. But there's a second cause why the towers were transformed to dust by the paper that stay intact. There's a well-known process occurring in the binding structure of the iron atom's shell. The iron crystal forms a small cube. At a corresponding wavelength, the cube absorbs energy and breaks up, turning to powder, while paper, which cannot absorb the radiation energy, will remain. But finally, when all was over, someone did send the firefighters and the National Guard down into the radioactive pit without warning. We must speak the truth about terror. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories concerning the attacks of September the 11th, malicious lies that attempt to shift the blame away from the terrorists themselves, away from the guilty. At the chart of nucleates, section uranium fission, we find the statistic maximum for fission products. These are barium and strontium. Maximas are shown in red. Let's zoom in and examine the decayed chain of a radioactive barium until it reaches stability. It runs barium, lanthanum, cerium, pesodimium and stable neodymium. Once again, uranium is split into barium and strontium. When splitting, a deadly impulse of a neutron radiation is released. The neutron radiation is absorbed in the building's steel core, evaporating it. The iron itself does not turn radioactive, simply because the resulting iron isotopes are mostly stable, shown in black. The killer, the cause of cancer, is the following beta decay. Barium 14 seconds, lanthanum 14 minutes, cerium 33 hours. Let's search for lanthanum. We type USGS dust sample lanthanum, and there we are. Please note, we get quite a lot of radioactive stuff here. These are the real killers by emitting beta ray radiation, a negative charge which interacts with the electronics, pixels, and destroys cells of the human body thousands per second. Point where the camera went down and uh... Hi, I'm Teresa Coval. My fiance Greg Coval died at the age of 53 years old from 9-11 related leukemia and pulmonary fibrosis. According to the city's Department of Mental and Physical Hygiene, Thousands of individuals, including rescue, recovery, and cleanup workers, and people who lived, worked, or went to school in Lower Manhattan on September 11th, have developed chronic and often co-occurring mental and physical health conditions. Malicious lies that attempt to shift the blame away from the terrorists themselves, away from the guilty. Do you have any idea what it takes to do what they did? I try to put myself in their shoes. I can't. 
I'm a pussy. I'll look, I'll admit it. I'm a little bitch. You know, you're you're supposed to go down to a place where buildings just collapse, where one building just collapsed or both buildings just collapsed after a terrorist attack. You have no clue how dangerous that is, what can happen, what you're going to see, the PTSD you're almost guaranteed to get. Now we learn the physical problems too. And could you imagine how people felt when they're in the rubble, hanging onto life by a thread, and they see somebody wearing that, that fireman's outfit or the police officer's outfit, and they help them, and they save their lives. Could you imagine the relief you feel when you look up and you see the first responders digging through the rubble to save your fucking life? And then after that happens, when they get sick, the government drags their feet before they pick up the tab for their health care. 